Hello, Sociology 125. Uh, welcome to class. And um, uh, this is going to be just a little bit of an introduction. Um, most of my videos will not be like this. Um, I am currently in Mexico uh, right now, down here doing some field work. Uh, and uh, so the video is going to be a little bit different this time. I'm uh, in my, my rented condo unit here right now, um, but hopefully the uh, other lectures for this semester will be coming from my office. But um, right now, this is my office, so um, it's what you get for going to foreign, you know, exotic foreign countries and doing doing field work. So, um, but again, welcome. Um, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the class and um, tell you who I am, tell you something about the class structure. It um, should, shouldn't last any more than 10 minutes. Uh, it's my policy that I'm not going to record any more than 10 minutes long um, for every one of my lectures so that you guys uh, don't get bored of me. Uh, it's like a 10 minute attention span thing. I get it. Um, that seems to be how, um, how people uh, function. So, and I'm no different. So I'll keep to 10 minutes. Um, again, my, my, my name is Professor uh, Kurt N. Olson. I am a... Um, full-time tenure professor at Modesto Junior College. Um, I teach at other uh, colleges um, as well, uh, but my main area here is at Modesto Junior College. Uh, I've been teaching online for, I don't know, eight, nine years now, um, but I also do the larger lecture face-to-face -face classes as well. So if you find that you don't like this class, please drop soon because <clears throat> there's a lot of people on the waiting list, but you might want to take my face-to-face -face class. Um, it is... Um, so it's different, you know, uh, but it's the same. I mean, its structure is the same, um, but, you know, it's some people it's easier to, to go face-to-face -face than, than online. Um, uh, I am, uh, I have a couple degrees. Um, I don't want to, you know, list them all, but um, I went to Scotland, the University of Edinburgh, um, and graduated um, with honors from, from the University of Edinburgh um, and UC Davis. Um, you know, a couple of master's degrees and different things, um, sociology being um, my prominent field. Um, I like to study um, uh, behavior uh, with regard to um, health and wellness and population health, um, in particular food behavior and why people eat what they eat, um, not telling people what to eat. <laughs> that's, that's kind of a nutrition thing, but um, kind of figuring out what it is that drives people to, to eat what they eat. Um, and uh, yeah, so my background is very much um, trying to help um, through science and not trying to help through preaching. Um, so uh, I'm very um, focused on sociology as a science uh, and, and that as a pathway to social justice and a little less focused on just telling people what's right and what's wrong. Um, so um, I'd like, like to unpack and examine issues in a scientific way. Um, using um, data and statistics and um, and, and, and theory, uh, vetted social science theory. So, um, so you're going to get more social um, science out of me and less uh, me preaching to you guys, telling you what I how I feel things should be. Um, I, I do feel like you know there are plenty of things that we can do to make the world a better place and. Um, and I believe very strongly in, in, in treating people well and, and social justice in, in a, you know, a lot of ways. Um, but I think the best way to go about doing that is, is um, through science, science, exploration of science. So um, you're, you know, having said that too, the other thing that, that I don't really like a lot of, and if you do this in my class, it's not going to be a good deal, is, is trolling, is just, you know, saying your opinion without giving any kind of, um, you know, academic type of um, referencing for it, um, or even using the book to, to just, you know, use the book as a reference is fine, uh, but just saying something and, and, and then moving on, we have plenty of that in this world right now. All you have to do is go online and you will see uh, everyone's got an opinion, uh, but very few of them are um, vetted academically in um, with any kind of scientific merit. So you won't get that from me. I'm not going to just say stuff to you and, and you're just supposed to take it on face value. Um, everything that I'm going to say to you guys uh, will be presented um, from an academic standpoint. Um, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about me trying to 
you know, be politically correct or anything like that because I don't have to worry about that because I use science um, as a guiding light for everything. Uh, and that's a little bit weird in social science now. Um, a lot of social science is driven by um, opinion and um, and uh, in political um, framing. Uh, so you're not going to get that from me. Um, I will say class structure, you have to, have to, there's just no way. You, there's no way that you will pass this class unless you get the correct text and get the connect um, addition to, um, uh, to, 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 to do the activities online. The Learn Smarts are awesome. They are really, really good, um, and I use them. And also the quizzes from the book are really, really good as well. And everything's based on the book. Um, so you have to get the book. Now my lectures um, are going to be um, also tested on. So you need to take notes on my lectures. Um, but um, really the bulk of the class is based on the text. And this is a great, great text. So use it. Buy it. Um, you, you just have no prayer unless you get the book in this class. And, and I don't like teachers that say to get the book and then they don't use it. I, I have no idea why they do that. It's a waste of your money. If you're going to spend your hard earned money and especially as students, I get it. Um, you know, I was a student that I, I, uh, didn't have parents or a family. And so I put myself through school and, and I get how much value money is. So if I'm going to ask you to buy a textbook. You're going to use it and get something out of it. Um, so Make sure that you buy buy your text and get the Connect um, version for it. Um, th that that's the key. The, the, but the, here's the thing. Here's here's how you will totally pass this class and get a good grade. Um, set aside time for this class each week. Um, like like whatever. Like Tuesday from nine to twelve, or Friday morning from eight to ten, or whatever whatever it is. Two to five hours a week that you set aside because everyone's different. Everybody gets through their stuff. Some people more quickly, some people less quickly, whatever. Just set some time aside each week. And if you're already done with the work, but you still have more time, keep working. <laughs> Use that time. Get ahead. Set. I mean, that time is no matter what, whether you're caught up or not caught up, you will be working from, on, on Saturday mornings from 9 to 1 or whatever. And no matter what it is, how, how much you're caught up or not, you will work at that time. Uh, in this class and get stuff done in this class. Um, so, you know, do that. That, that. Then people get good grades when they do that. That is the best way. Um, it's just, this is my time to get my online class stuff done. Boom, I do it. Um, so that's that's my that's my big advice to you. Even if you're caught up, set that time aside and get to, get to work on it. Um, other than that, read the syllabus. Um, it's very, very clear and straightforward. I feel very, um, you know, uh, passionate about making sure that you guys know exactly what's going on and it's not some kind of weird thing. Your grades will be, your quizzes will be graded automatically. Um, you know, your learn smarts will be graded automatically. Your discussions will be graded every week because I got to go read those discussions, but um, it will be done in a timely manner. I'm very disciplined. I will get your stuff done on time. That's my, um, uh, you know, commitment to you. Your commitment is to not screw up a spot that somebody else uh, could use. Okay, I have 75 on my wait lists right now for to get into my online sociology classes. So you have a spot. So if you're not going to work, then I'm going to drop you. So you have to get in and have to complete work by the end of the first week. Uh, it, or I'm going to drop you. And that's a good reason for And, and if, if some bad thing happens to you or whatever, um, I'm sorry, but um, you know you're not ready to take the class right now. Somebody else is in a, in a life situation where they're ready to take the class. So um, I will drop you because there's someone waiting to get in, um, and it's only fair. And maybe when your life gets you know straightened out next time, you can start the semester off the right way. Then you you could sign back up and take the class. Um, but um, you have to make an effort to to get work done. Okay, uh, I've made this class sound like it's crazy hard or something, but it's not. You're going to have a, you'll do well. Uh, just use the book, read the book. Um, there's some extra credit involved, the movies to watch. Um, it's really not that hard. Just set that time aside and get your work done. And everybody, you know, will have, will have a good, good experience in this class. They usually do. Uh, I've been doing it for years and it's usually a really good thing. Nice to meet you guys. And uh, I'll see you for the first chapter.
Adiós.